aldonic acids okay when hydroxyl group an anomeric carbon of monosaccharides reacting with hydroxyl group of another carbohydrate okay or non carbohydrate leads to glycoside formation glycosidic formation is very very important why because monosaccharides means single sugar units disaccharide means two sugar units and how to make these two sugar units together by the way of glycosidic linkage only it is possible so this way different uh, types of glycosidic uh, uh, linkages happening to make different n number of sugar units together in disaccharides okay in polysaccharides there are two types of glycosidic bonds so i'll tell you first how this glycosidic bond will be forming that means so we have already seen how to convert the straight chain into a rings chain okay for structural uh, writings ring form is more convenient compared to the straight chain so this is glucose 1 okay this is c1 this is c2 this is c3 c4 and c5 okay so we have already learned how to arrange the substances around a carbon below the plane of the ring or above the plane of the ring the compounds which are present on the right side below the plane of the ring So there is oxide linkage. So here one more uh, glucose 2 I am uh, drawing. C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. That means how a glycosidic linkage is forming okay you take in the example of uh, maltose disaccharide right so here maltose is made up of two monosaccharide that is glucose first is glucose second is also glucose so the hydroxyl group here you see here the hydroxyl group which is present in the first carbon of first glucose okay and the hydroxyl group present in the fourth carbon this is present in the first carbon this is present in the fourth carbon okay so all these they re, uh, react what happens oh oh right so they combine together to form water molecule will be removed okay water molecule will be removed so this way after removing water molecule you can form glycosidic linkage so this type of glycosidic linkage is known as o type okay o type glycosidic bond there is another glycosidic bond that is o, uh, n type glycosidic bond that means when any carbohydrate attached to okay nitrogen other than uh, carbohydrate if it is attaching to any other substance other than carbohydrate okay that is known as n type glycosidic bond this type of glycosidic bond you can see in nucleotide formation okay nucleotide is nothing but nucleic acid nucleic acid is nothing but dna rna oh in that structure ribose attached to adenine okay you all seen how uh, nitro uh, nucleo uh, nucleo uh, nucleotide is formed nucleotide is because of sugar is there nitrogen base is there phosphate is there right in this picture in uh, n type glycosidic bond you can see here adenine serving as a nitrogen base and sugar is ribose and the phosphate group okay so here sugar to adenine combined by a n type glycosidic bond so that is a significance okay and you should know physiologically important glycosides streptomycin which is uh, extensively uh, using by uh, uh, physicians clinicians as an antibiotic okay used as a prominent drug in treatment of tuberculosis streptomycin which is an antibiotic uh, properties okay it is also an important glycoside in treatment of tuberculosis and cardiac glycosides like uh, digoxin digitoxin okay which increases the muscle contraction and used in treatment of uh, heart failures because these cardiac glycosides uh, glycosides having extensive function on heart muscles okay and uh, uh, anthracycline uh, glycosides is there okay doxyrubicin which is used in treat of uh, wide range of cancers anti uh, cancer agents they are ovine 
which is a potential inhibitor of sodium potassium ATPase and blocks the active transport of sodium. Okay. So these are the important points regarding glycosides okay, clinically. So other derivatives are there monosaccharides okay, which are very very important. Okay. Phosphoric acid esters that means when glucose reacting with the when glucose reacts with phosphate it gives glucose 1 phosphate or glucose 6 phosphate okay and amino sugars that means when uh, amino acid or nitrogen base are like uh, attached to the glucose okay that is known as amino sugar deoxy sugars deoxy sugars where you get in dna what type of sugar that is deoxyribose deoxyribose present in dna okay sugar acids so we have already got sugar acids glucuronic acid in conjugation uh, mechanism conjugation reaction mechanism in detoxification sugar alcohols such as sorbitol ribitol mannitol so like this these are all derivatives of monosaccharides which do have lesser functions okay 